How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we're going to be looking at using um, language integrated query link to query and array. Um, before I get further into this, link is um, not limited to querying arrays of primitive uh, types such as integers. It can be used with most data types including strings and user defined classes as well. It cannot be used when um, a query does not have a defined meaning. Uh, for example, excuse me, you cannot use order by on objects that are not comparable. And comparable types in .NET are those that implement the iComparable interface, uh, which I will cover in a later video. But all built-in types such as string, int, and double implement the iComparable interface. So before we get into the main program here, let's take a look at the employee class. Um, we have a private decimal, which is a monthly salary. We have um, the um, accessors get and set for the first and last name. Um, we have our constructor here. Uh, we have the monthly salary accessor, which basically will get the monthly salary and return it if it is greater than zero. We just want to make sure it's um, a non-negative number. We're also going to override our toString function, basically outputting things how we want them to be output in the order of first name, last name, and then monthly salary. So back to our main program, we're going to create a new array of the employee class. We're going to call that list and we will initialize it with some values here. Um, we're going to have some new employees and um, yes, I'm using colors and it's just easier for me to come up with names that way, but John Brown um, gets a salary of 3000. Um, the M is for money, which will um, account for exact calculations. Um, Jack White, Lisa Green, so on and so forth. Um, what we're going to do here is basically, you look at our print function. We're using the um, the interface here, the IE numerable, um, which is a um, primitive data type with, with results, and then a string title. What we're going to do is print the title, whatever's passed to the print function, as well as all of the elements in the array that is passed to it. So using that print function we will output um, the original value um, the values of the array here so let's go ahead and run this and take a look here so our original array looks something like this John Brown making 3000 a month Jack White 4500 um, and as you can see our decimal here with uh, Lisa Green three thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars and fifty cents so on and so forth everything is as it should be here okay um, now Using the um, link, we're going to filter the range of salaries from four to six k, four thousand dollars to six thousand dollars a month. Any employee making within this range, um, we will send to our print function here. But basically, we're going to create the uh, an e variable within the list where e monthly salary is greater than or equal to four thousand. And notice how we're using the member access operator here. And again, with the monthly salary less than or equal to 6000 a month. And then again, um, we will print this in our formatted string here. <clears throat> this will give us our next value, uh, values of output. And as you see, employees earning in the range of four to 6000 per month. And we see you have, we have three. We have Jack White, Terry Black, and Amy Blue. All of these values fall within the 6000 per month. Um, we're going to make another query um, to order the employees by last name and then first name. We'll call that sorted. Um, again, using E in list, we're, we want to use our order by and then E last name and then E first name. And then we will basically um, display the results of the first employee after being sorted. Um, again, we're, we're just making sure that the sorted um, um, variable here um, has been processed and as you can see first employee after being sorted was Terry Black because black um, comes before um, anything else alphabetically and then um, we're going to use link to select the uh, last names of all the employees we'll just call that last name again from E in list we want to select the last name and then we're going to use the distinct method of last name um, basically to 
what, what's going to happen is it's going to filter out all the duplicates so we'll only get one of each. You notice how we have Lisa Green, Bill Green, Scott Green, we'll only get one green, um, one last name that is that is uh, distinct. So that will give us our next set of um, output statements here. We have brown, white, green, black, and blue. And then finally we're, we will use um, link to select the first and last names. Again we'll just call that name. We'll go from E in list, um, select new, uh, first name, and Last will be equal to last name, and then we will go ahead and print the names only. So um, again, our names only will look like that. John Brown, Jack White, Lisa Green, Bill Green. Um, and everything, um, all the output is as it should be. So that's basically how you use link to query an array um, from a class user-defined data type. Uh, that's all I want to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.